pass the salt, please. Thank you. You should always remember being with you, it's just a favor. The woman is insufferable. She humiliates me so much, so publicly. Kakati Dick, a chiboga jiba kutwala, yewa. I'm not hurt. Oh, I see. I was worried. <laughs> yes. What happened? What's wrong? My God, what has happened? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Oh my God. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I agree, Vicky is difficult, boastful, arrogant, and so on. Maybe she's an exception. Eh? Uh, going to Chiboga to pick up a green girl might not be the answer. How is she going to welcome my visitors, fit into my society, engage into an intellectual exchange, not let alone an intellectual uh, conversation? Eh, what will my fellow doctors say at the club? Deep. My dear Dick, the point, remember, is you are marrying a wife for yourself, not for your friends. 
If it is embarrassment you fear, what is more embarrassing? A village wife whom you can gradually train and make her do what you want? Or one who shows the kind of arrogancy and insolence Vicky has been exhibiting so publicly to your constant embarrassment and humiliation? Vicky, Vicky, and moreover, Jukiranti, Man, you need to breathe. You need space. She's suffocating you. When you just try to get a nightclub, whatever we are doing, whatever we complaining, she stayed happy at home. And it wasn't the first time. <laughs> but financially, a village girl is a burden. I mean, she stays at home. She's not working, waiting to be fed, clothed. But a city girl is different. She's working and she can contribute to the family coffers. My dear Dick, hmm? it's the other way around. Hmm? How much do you have to give a village wife? Huh? Gamba nga uwangi. She doesn't visit anywhere. As for food, Ariadne, whatever I'll give her, she will gratefully eat. But a town girl, she will demand for the most expensive things. Latest shoe with a matching dress and handbag, golden watch, bracelets, expensive perfume, hairdo, and what have you. And that is to say nothing about what she puts on underneath. Eh? <laughs> she will demand to be taken out. <laughs> eh? She will demand, she will always want the most expensive food, um, uh, omelette, bacon, sausages. Hmm? And even if she works, you will never see her money. She will take it away and uh, eventually asks, uh, rather demands from you. Should you make a mistake and ask her just to make a small contribution? Come and go, Kukula, Akatawa. Now, we say, Echo Chajokulangidia, the rest of your marriage life. Gawala Vidirawaka. Okay, but what about an intellectual exchange or discussion? My dear Dick, intellectual discussion. <laughs> intellectual discussion or in a different Amchalao. Don't you have enough of it at work? Aren't there any better things to do with your wife at home? Come on, body language, <laughs> body language, man. <laughs> Ate, Ate, a village girl is very well schooled in traditional bedroom etiquette. Eh? But I want to go. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Oh, oh, oh. How do we go about it? Well, it's my home area. Okay. I'll pay a visit, scout for a suitable maiden, then I'll let you know. Okay.
I teach the teacher of not to chinko go feed a machinka. I'm sorry, I'm short of money. Definitely send it Friday. Friday? A go feed a never on the end. When I sang about you to see. I'm sorry, send it to Ambala and Yeko. Many as I'm paid the call. Send it to the call. You send it to you at a sort of taking care of her next very basic necessary needs. Oh, you never said Jack.